Hey guys, welcome to another edition of The Boss Beat. I'm Ray Boss Jr. and I'm excited to be here with you. I hope you're enjoying the beautiful day outside. It was a beautiful weekend last weekend. Hopefully you got to stay outside, enjoy it a little bit, um, and got to do lots of fun and exciting things. All right, but now it's back to the grind time. Now we gotta talk about what's going out on out in the real world and, uh, and get back to things. Let me tell you a little bit about something that we touched on before, something that's changed interest rates. I don't know who it was, but somebody was listening at the Boss Beat and they decided to say, all right, let's show uh, Ray Boss's listeners um, a little bit about what the market can do. All right, Interest rates went up, up to about five and two thirds right now, as of the end of last week, that is. Um, so it has fluctuated a little bit. Um, you know, things on Wall Street go up, but they go down. All right. This is the same with the interest rates in the market and the real estate market. So you have to stay aware of them. I promise you, I will keep you aware of what's going on in the real estate market. Okay? That's what I do. That's why I'm giving you these boss beats. Okay? So it's, it's a way for me to communicate with you and keep you up to date about things like the interest rates, about home sale prices, and other inf information that's, uh, you know, really relevant. Re relevant to uh, what you're trying to do in the uh, home buying process, home selling process, how it affects you, okay? So let's talk about uh, about 2004 a little bit now. Um, 2004, interesting year. Some good things, some bad things happened. Um, George Bush was reelected. That's one of those things that could be a swing. Uh, you might say it's good, you might say it's bad, whatever, it's your opinion, okay? Martha Stewart was sentenced to five months in jail. Again, possibly good, possibly bad. New England beat Carolina. Interesting uh, halftime show there at the Super Bowl. Janet Jackson, um, Justin Timberlake, a little overexposure, so shall we say. Million Dollar Baby came out. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. If you like boxing, don't like boxing, doesn't matter. Fantastic uh, acting in that movie. Definitely uh, worth the Oscars that it won. Um, Interesting fact, May of 2004, guess what the median home price was? $361,000. You might not think that's super exciting. I think it's very exciting. Why? Because now in May of 2009, although it's June now, but May 2009 statistics are the current ones out, uh, we have a median home sale price of $358,117. We are now lower than we were five years ago. Okay, this is fantastic year for if you're a home buyer. If you're a home seller, you might be a little bit dismayed. I'm sorry to break the news to you, but if you're a home buyer, this is fantastic news for you. This is just out of this world. But let me tell you a little bit about how we got there. Okay, um, I'm also going to tell you a little bit about, about what's been going on in the past five six months. But for right now, let's take a look at uh, what's been going on the past five years, all right? 2004, what I already told you. We started out at 361,000, okay? If you bought a house in 2004, 2003, whenever it was, 2005, you're sitting pretty. You're feeling good, okay? Uh, the prices have gone up 19.09% by May of 2005. The median home price is now $429,900. Okay, moving on up to 2006. Okay, in May 2006, the median home sale price is now $449,000. Um, so we're going up 4.44%. All right, continuing on 2007, maybe not so good. Okay, you're down 0.89%. That doesn't say that you're down 89%. There's a dot there. Okay, you're down. 0.89%. All right, just got to make sure that's clear for you. Um, following year, 2008, between 2007 and 2008, your uh, median home sale price uh, dropped 7.87%. Okay, now you're back down to $410,000. All right, you ready for the big one? Here it comes. 12.65% is what the uh, median home sale price drops by uh, between 2008 and 2009. I knew I liked 2009. It's a fantastic time for home sale. All right, it's a fantastic time for home buyers. 
buyers are going to get out there and they're going to make the home sales happen. All right? This is what I'm thinking. Okay? But look, this is why. $358,117. All right? That's what the median home sale price in Montgomery County is. Montgomery County, big county. All right? That's why I don't use average prices. All right? Because we have houses that are worth $5 million, $10 million. There's some that are worth more than $10 million in Montgomery County. So the average... Uh, the averages get skewed. That's why I like to stick with the medians. All right, these are good meaty numbers. All right, to give you a, a real good look at Montgomery County as a whole. If you want more information about what your house is worth, um, about what the house you're interested in is worth, or an area, anything like that, if you want the market value, give me a call. I'll let you know. I'll break it down for you. Much better than having to look at Montgomery County as a whole. But for our purposes, this gives us a good idea. I took microeconomics in college okay this is macro let's talk micro a little bit okay um, micro past five or six months okay in uh, December we had uh, median home sale price three hundred forty one thousand dollars okay slower than it is now but guess what January it dropped all the way down to three hundred nineteen thousand dollars lowest in five years all right March, it's already moving back up. We're up to 339. And then again, May, $358,117. So we're seeing a little bit of forward momentum in the real estate market. This is good. Okay. Total uh, number of units sold in Montgomery County in January was low. Low, 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 low. Okay. We didn't have much inventory. We weren't moving things. We were at 387 houses uh, total that were sold in Montgomery County. Uh, as of January, March, we're back up. We're up to 649. All right, May, we're at 874 houses that have been sold. Okay, so this is pretty good, and that's not cumulative. That's for the month of May, just to clarify. Um, in all of May, there were 874 houses sold in Montgomery County. That's pretty good. All right, so we're building steam. The days on market, uh, the average days on market for a house, uh, went from 116 in January to 106 in May. Again, this is good. This is positive for the real estate market, okay? Um, so that's a little bit about where we've been and where we are now. I will continue to keep you updated about um, what's happening. I'll keep you updated about interest rates and about home sale prices, okay? This is very uh, inf um, important information for you, uh, whether you're selling or buying, okay? Because you need to know what's going on out there. All right, that's why I'm here. I'm here to help. All right, so uh, a little bit about next time. All right, I'm excited. This is going to be very informative, and this is going to be well worth your time to pay attention to. All right, we're going to talk about how action creates action. I want your action, my action, our action to result in action for you of buying a house. Okay, we're going to talk about the home buying process. What actions you need to take up front, which actions you need to take, um, you know, throughout the home buying process to get the house sold. I'm going to talk about what I do, okay, why I am important to you, all right, so that we can get you a house that you want, that you're uh, able to buy, and uh, that will make you happy. I want to make you happy. I really do. And um, I, I want to, we're going to talk about how we can make that happen. All right, we'll talk about where you are, where you want to be, and how we're going to get you there. So that's what we're going to cover in next week's edition of The Boss Beat. Again, it's been a pleasure. If you ever need anything, call me, 301-221-2327. It's my cell phone, always on. Give me a call. I'm always ready, willing, able, happy to talk to you, okay? So give me a call in there. Again, 301 221 2327. Shoot me an email, rayboss.jr at remax.net. Hit me up on Facebook. Whatever you want to, however you want to get to me, do it, okay? I would love to talk to you, love to help you. Thank you for those of you uh, who have given me positive feedback, who have given me tips. Um, I really appreciate it. And thank you uh, again for watching. Have a fantastic week. Look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.